Hi guys! Welcome to our vlog and today our vlog is all about applying exponential functions in real life situations and with the help of my fellow vloggers we are going to explain how to apply exponential functions in real life situation and we will start the video now but first what is an exponential function? The exponential function is a mathematical function in which the variable is in the exponents. If x and b are real numbers such that b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1, then f of x is equal to b raised to x with the base b. Now all of us jokingly wondered, when are we gonna use the Pythagorean theory in real life? When are we gonna use this or that in real life? And it turns out there are applications of exponential functions in the society. Now, we always see the COVID-19 pandemic in the news. So we've wondered what if we use the exponential function on the virus? In January 30, 2020, the WHO declared the COVID-19 outbreak as a global health emergency. We are experiencing the pandemic at the moment, and we are worried about the virus infecting us. The virus spread fast, killing millions of people. Now, using exponential function, we can theoretically solve how many people can the virus infect in a given time. Suppose there are people in a large room. Initially, there were 50 infected people in that room. In every 100 hours, the number of infected people doubles. So let's try to give the exponential model for this situation. Let P represent time in days. Initially, there were 50 infected people. So at P equals 0, the number of infected people is 50. Now, as the problem states that every 100 hours, the number of infected people doubles. So, at P equals 100, then the number of people infected is equals to 50 times 2. Now, at P equals 200, then the number of people is equals to 50 times 2 raised to 2. At 300 hours or T equals 300, the number of infected people is equals to 50 times 2 raised to 3 and so on. With that, we can make the exponential model for this situation. It is f of x is equal to 50 times 2 raised to T divided by 100. So let's try to find how many infected people there will be in 900 hours. Let's use the formula, f of x is equal to 50 times 2 raised to t divided by 100. We put the value of time, so it's going to be 50 times 2 raised to 9. So after 900 hours, the number of infected people will be 25,600. Although, please bear in mind that we've just given you the simple equation. I'm sure that in real life, it's much more complicated than this. But this led us to realizing something. I hope that you realized something too. Exponential functions, which I'm pretty sure is being used in our society already. We've realized that exponential functions have real-life applications. And there are a lot of possibilities that we can use this method. For example, we can calculate the population growth, the growth of an epidemic carbon dating, loan interest rate, product sales, investment, and many, many more. Hello again everyone, my name is John Marlin Vicente Cruzado, along with my members uh, JM Trinidad and Aldrich Reyes, and this concludes our blog for talking about the topic, the applications of exponential functions in real life world. I hope that you learned something from this. And I'm, I hope that you can use probably the exponential functions on some 
um, examples in real life.